We're at the table with Bob Ramsey, exclusively on 101sports.com. Hi, everybody. I'm Bob Ramsey. Welcome to At the Table with Bob Ramsey, where you never know who's going to show up and hang out with me. More people would show up if they would bring me food, but so far I'm stuck with these guys. No, absolutely delighted to have today Rick Venturi from Zach and the Coach, and you uh, hear that show every day from 9 to 11 on 101 ESPN, and Bradford Bruns, who covers Missouri sports for us at 101sports.com. All right, guys, I want to talk about the new basketball coach at the University of Missouri, Frank Haith. And if you haven't been reading the papers, you may have done what what we all did when we first heard the name, who? Um, And I want to talk for a moment more about the athletic director at Missouri, Mike Alden, and the process, a process that gets you to Frank Haith. You guys both love movies. Do you remember the movie Apocalypse Now? Brando talking to Marty Sheen, and he says, Are my methods unsound? And Sheen says, I don't see any method at all, sir. How do you arrive at Frank Haith? Yeah, you know, the interesting thing to me is, first of all, I think we got to give Frank the benefit of the doubt. I agree. You know, he's a guy that does have some, some, some things that really do apply to being successful. He is a good recruiter. He's got big mm-hmm. eight ties. I mean, there's things that make him a, 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 a guy that you would look at that you would. Uh, the, the guy that I struggle with is, is Mike Alden in the process. As you said, the process and the perception of what happens. To me, when you went after Painter, you, 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 lifted, the, you, you lifted the expectations of everybody, which was great, and I, I commended him on that. But I think when you go from Painter and you come to a guy that's a relative unknown by our standards, okay, there had to be a process. There had to be a venting. I think he could have helped this. Maybe inevitably at the end of a search of five guys, it would have been Frank. I don't, I don't disagree Boy. that it could have been. But in the meantime, I think you put out some trial balloons. You do a little lead in. You do some selling. I think it's all selling. I don't think you put him on an island and say, well, this is the only guy we offered because there, you give a little arrogance by that statement. You know, I think you owe it to your fan base to, that you went out and you really looked hard and you came up with the best guy. Yeah, I think so, too. And Bradford, when I look at this guy, I'm saying, because I didn't know him, so I performed some due diligence, hopefully as much as Mike Alden did, talked to people in the business that did know him. Everything came up A's, straight A's, double A's, triple A's, everything. Great guy, great recruiter. Don't know if he's an X's and O's guy, but I know he can get talent based on what people tell me and that he's a terrific human being. Well, I'm going to switch it from movies to music, if I may, and to say that... The Missouri powers that be right now are imploring the fan base, imploring us to have a little hate, if you will. But if you want me to be a part part of this congregation, you've got to do a little (laughs) bit better than bringing to the fore a guy who not only went 43 and 69 in a subpar ACC in seven seasons at Miami, one tournament appearance, we know all about that. What's more disconcerting to me is the fact that when he had time to grow in his most recent three seasons post that March Madness appearance, 17 and 31. Now, I'm no math major, but overall, the last three years at Miami marked a regression. That is a 35% winning percentage in conference play. And the contrast here, the major difference is that Alden's most recent hire, Snyder and Anderson, both guys you could look at, you could examine their track records, their immediate futures, and say these are two individuals most definitely on the ascent, whereas mm-hmm. you, in all We're honesty, sure cannot make such a suggestion regarding Mr. Haith. Now, it's no indictment against his personality, his character whatsoever. I agree with you, Coach, insofar as you can't make any sort of, of notions, suggestions in that area just yet. But based on pure record alone, and to go from Matt Painter to Frank Haith, unheralded according to a countless number of types in this particular industry. It's disconcerting. It was good to listen to a lot of the things that he had to say today at the press conference. But before we go all sunshine and lollipops here, just keep in mind the numbers. And the numbers right now don't lie. They smack of mediocrity. So we don't know if Mike Alden has done like Marlon Brando and gone up the river, the Missouri instead of the Mekong. And what we don't want to happen is if you remember the end of that movie, we don't want to all be sitting here saying, the horror, the horror. 